Hello everyone and welcome back to some more grounded coming to you from the PTS server on the day that the update comes out for the bugs biting back. And this isn't coming out exactly on time, but I guess it gives you all some time to run through everything yourselves. If you haven't already checked out some of the new stuff and figure out everything. But I have saved some special things for all of you today. First of all, we have plates so we can upgrade our armors with. Let's begin all of our armors. No, here. Yes! Now I've already gone ahead and upgraded almost everything to level 5 besides these guys. These were a new thought that popped into my head. So everything's already up up to level 5 just to kind of save my space. So I think I'm going to go with the sleek on the gas mask just because it has a nice explosive resistance. Although I don't know if it's really needed at that point because at the, the end of the plan, like we, we do have plans eventually to plug up the gas anyways so the haze won't be a thing anymore eventually. And if I'm fighting up against this green shield bug and I want this up, or if I'm fighting in the rotted trash bin or something and I want this up, then yeah, that'll be better in the beefy. Okay, we're gonna go bulky. Now this has a dust cloud ability that I'm kinda not really keen for, I don't think. I want that extra bulky damage for in the termite den and against dust mites because it now has a dust guard ability, which works amazingly. This has crit hyper stamina sleep bonus that I want to give them. This has changed so it no longer gives you bow attack, but it does once you upgrade it to the sleep. Um, our bubble helmet, that gives us some hyper stamina. Sure, why not? Pebble harvest speed, I mean it's already quite quick as it is. A little bit extra defense while wearing the pebble helmet isn't a bad idea. Fin flops, they uh, add sprint distance, which I'm totally going to take that on the sleek. Uh, ant gear, I was running around in another test file for the grass harvest speed and that was like it. Now the ant line gear, it's kind of cool, like, it does give you a thirst rate increase or reduction in some ways I guess probably to help offset the sweaty debuff that the sandbox gives you but I'm gonna go with just the bulk because you get a do collector in the sandbox you're really fine and I really pull the gear they change the set bonus on it so it no longer gives you repairing on your shield instead it's just aggro and then this adds blocking strength but I mean really if you get more defense and durability it's I already do take hits pretty well, and it is con yeah, we, we will take blocking strength, you know? I was thinking against it originally, but up in that upper yard, when once things start breaking your shield and getting you on the ground, they can start to hurt, so the longer I can hold up my shield, it might be for the better. Alright, that's all of our armors maxed out. And I, I, okay, now with all that done, okay, we still have plenty of work left to do. As you can recall, we left off our cannibal camp when the PTS did drop. And last week, I believe that's where we were working as well. We will go back to where, and we will continue working with that as well. But thanks to the bugs now fighting back, we have to rethink some other things. Specifically, our current base. I've undergone several attacks on already. This isn't a bad position, however, the eighth at home can no longer stay there. Possibly changes to the sandbox place. Nothing else is really going to really matter too much. Plans to move our upper deck base over to around the fertilizer bag. So we can unplug the gas, we can plug up the gas finally. I think the birdbath base needs to be moved around a bit as well. Pond base is likely still good to go. But there are things like the black anthill one, the picnic table one, the, the stepping stone. I'm not really too concerned about any of those little lean-tos that are just out and about. So we have this shell that I want to fill in first. And then we're going to fill this in with extra half mushroom blocks for extra support and strength. Most of the attacks come from this angle here. This is a great position up on this plateau. Most of the attacks come from this angle past the mystery machine. And they just come right straight, well technically for this, but then they also come right straight for this. And then the attacks that happen from the backside don't actually happen from the backside of the plateau. They end up for some reason having to walk all the way around down through this path or down through this path, which hence now we have this little bit changed up here already around the rest of the place just in case I have seen a little bit of damage done here and there in places not often but I'm not sure why and random ant that got aggroed into the battle who knows but we're gonna do single wall thick with double wall interior it gives them lots to chomp through because they just aggro on the first thing that they can get to and start chomping away so we put lots of stuff in their way to chomp on before they even can come up to that and then we have to run this all the way up there case of aerial attacks i've only been attacked by red ants so far here however many people have been attacked by fireflies mosquitoes termites black ants <laughs> 
you name it, the different different things have come in all different ways and forms. Termites came over to the this area, yeah, the grasslands area one time on somebody, yeah. I just was told it's kind of spawning on you, no matter where you are. I have about 2,000 mushroom bricks ready to go. I don't know how far it's going to get us. can jump up about one unit high two half walls so if they can jump up that high then probably like an orb leader can jump up you know a little bit higher than that so yeah so Maybe the wall should come out a little bit further. See, I don't think that this is really necessary because nothing's going to come up to this edge here. I don't even think this is any of this is really necessary. Makes you wonder how much of this is really necessary on the double wall portion of it all, really. Huh, neat. Yeah, well, I don't think anything on this side's really going to need it unless I aggro a wolf spider. Dinner! It won't be the prettiest inside, but it'll look nice on the outside. I hope. I'd like to trap some fireflies in there too if I can. They are just constantly attracted to do collectors anymore now, I swear to god. Even before the PTS dropped. Huh. Yeah, I know this is like a spawn spot. I hate to get rid of it, but I really have to. Like, I don't have a choice in the matter. The I don't know what I should do first. Ten, eleven, still.
And with this and armor, what's this gonna take? Two hits. When we go hit this husky one over here. Only one, almost, not quite. Whap! Yeah, one shot in grass, like. Oh, I need a top for that too. Oops. Oh crap. Now can I pretend like the rest never existed? Then we can go inside of here. How am I going to do this anyways? Now we got this to still fill in here. It's secure. Very, very secure. Very, very secure now. So we still have like a ton of stuff to do yet though. Thank you. 
get out of here. thing for me I'm always carrying around one of these things now. Oh, Jesus. How's a little ladybug giving me a cock and heart attack? What? Myself, can I? Nope. Not bad though, we've gotten a good base around our wall with our wall so far. So I got plenty more mushroom bricks to work with actually. I did not blow through nearly as many as I thought I was gonna. That's not bad at all. For the next little bit, for the next episode, it's gonna be strictly back to the mushroom bricks running those walls up. Oh, I went through many different thoughts in my head. Should I relocate completely to the baseball? A whole different base? What? Inevitably, I just decided on, encase the entire base in a tower, fit for to protect the kings themselves. And so that's what we're doing. So we will continue on with that. And until then, everybody, I'd like to thank you all for sticking around. Welcome back. Hope you're enjoying the update so far. I guess it's not really a welcome back, but do hope you are enjoying the update so far. And we will continue on this some more next episode.